Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from The Right Way and um, got a really disturbing story uh, from here in New Zealand. Um, just recently a um, man was sentenced, well he was found guilty of raping I think four girls under the age of or 15 or under at the time he offended and he was a 16 year old and he got what I would consider to be um, a really pathetic um, sentence of home detention. So let's have a read about this and it just shows you what happens when the government goes soft on crime because you can bet your bottom dollar that their policy settings filter down to the prosecutors and the judges who then go to implement those settings and because of this soft policy on crime from this Labour government it's no wonder we get stupid sentences like this, right? I mean the government's aim is to reduce the pr prison population by 30% not reduce crime by 30% but reduce the prison population by 30%. Well you can do that pretty easily by just not putting people into prison and also releasing people that should be in prison out. Right? It doesn't actually solve the problem of crime. So let's have a look. Hundreds turn out in protest against teen rapist Jaden Myers home detention sentence. Hundreds of young people have turned out at protests across the country today after a teenager who raped four girls and sexually violated another, so essentially destroyed the lives of five girls, was sentenced to home detention. Right, we know what that means, right? You get to sit around at home, you can watch TV, you can play ga video games on your PlayStation or Xbox, you can t chat to people on the internet, you can watch porn, you can... Um, video chat with your friends and so on, you can have your friends over at your house, you just can't leave your house, but you can do everything else that you want to do, right, there's no other really restrictions on that, absolutely pathetic sentence. This afternoon's protest taking place in Mount Monganui, Whanganui, Gisborne and Taupo were organised in recent days in response to the sentence handed down to teenager Jada Meyer, who violated the five 15 year olds across 2020 and 2021. Multiple police complaints were laid and he was eventually convicted, sentenced to nine months home detention. Not nine months only, right? And then all these, all these effing politicians and judges are going about, oh, home detention is, is, you know, it's not a walk in the park. It's a really harsh sentence. What a load of rubbish. He doesn't have to work for nine months. He can just laze around at home. Um... People have to get things for him, like food and stuff, or he can Uber Eats it in, I guess. But, you know, his his life is not going to change much, like the, the lives he's destroyed of these five girls. Um, so it talks about the, um, the march and stuff. So we can see some pictures here of the march and so on. I'm so glad that these people um, took the time to get out and do it. Um, so let's have a look at what, um, happened because of the sentence. So, um, so we are aware that the recent sentencing of a young offender is difficult for many people in our communities to understand. This is a crime that cannot be minimised. What we need to do is enable social change. We need to show that we as a community do not accept sexual violence or harm in any shape or form. An online petition calling for a harsher sentence has so far received more than 23,000 responses. According to the district court documents obtained by Open Justice, all five victims were aged 15 at the time of the attacks. Maya was 16. In one instance, the sex was initially consensual, but Maya raped the girl when she refused to be with him for a second time that night. On another occasion, he filmed the rape of another unconsenting girl. A third rape happened while his victim was asleep in bed. In the most graphic of the attacks, Maya raped an intoxicated teen in a bush after they had been at a party. The judge's sentencing decision details how that victim, who was a virgin, protested to no avail. Absolute. Absolute. I can't even think of the words to describe this guy. What a monster. Maya, who has no criminal history, pleaded not guilty to all charges, but was like, so, what? He pleaded not guilty to all charges. He has no remorse, right? If he had any kind of remorse, he would have pleaded guilty. So they're giving this guy home detention? He doesn't even um, take responsibility for what he did. A psychologist who saw Maya 30 times during the prosecution found he had a medium risk of offending and continues to minimise the effects of his crimes. He's not going to get any 
like shock to the system or he's not going to learn anything out of it because he gets to spend time at home at home detention it is not prison right it's not the same as prison both Crown Prosecutor Anna Pollitt and Myers lawyer Rachel Adams submitted that a sentence of home detention will be most appropriate despite the Crown accepting imprisonment would be the ordinary sentence for this sort of offending and indeed one of many years what the if this makes my blood boil right so this ordinarily he would have got a sentence of multiple years in prison but because of the Labour Party's stance being soft on crime then they um, the actual prosecution um, put forward a bid of having home offense uh, home detention for this absolutely disgusting Judge Harding agreed, saying the sentence of imprisonment being typical for this level of offending is undoubtedly correct. That is pathetic. The written sentencing decision does not detail how Judge Harding reached the conclusion that home detention would be the most appropriate. Well, what, what can he do when both the defence and the prosecution are submitting for home detention? I accept the probation report and the submissions of counsel that the home detention of all charges is the appropriate outcome. What a load of bollocks. That is completely not true. Meyer, who is now living north of Auckland, was sentenced to nine months home detention and further 12 months on post-release conditions, including a ban on associating with anyone under 16 and attending a sexual violence prevention program. The prosecution comes after an Auckland senior pleaded guilty to rape and sexual assault against five victims. He was sentenced, yeah, well, we know that. The teen's name was, oh, that was, I think that's a different one, actually. All right, so we can see what's happened. Basically, government soft on crime. Prosecution soft on crime, judges soft on crime, so a guy who needs to have some sort of punishment gets away scot-free. I don't know, you may think home detention isn't scot-free, but to me it is, right? You can do whatever you want at home, you can live your life, you can, with the, the internet and mobile phones and laptops and stuff, you can just still have a social life, but these girls' lives have been damaged immeasurably for what this um, monster has done. Uh, personally, I would like to chuck him in jail and throw away the key because I have a daughter and I would not want her to go through anything that these girls have gone through. Um, absolutely terrible. So one of the young victims has spoken out, so let's have a hear about their words. Uh, where is it? Here we go. A man with mana is one who lives with purpose and zero intention of co to cause others pain. One who only displays kindness and understanding in regards to women and the word no. Society warns you of old men or getting drugged at clubs, not a predator that hides among your peers. Absolutely correct. I write in representation of these women who have suffered unbearable pain at such a youthful age. Life doesn't prepare you for the horrors others' can, actions can inflict, nor does it prepare you for the mental strain 16 months through the court can cause. This boy's actions have caused a lifetime of trauma and hurt. It requires strength and bravery to stand up against one who once made you feel so small and vulnerable. I mean, what must it be like for these girls to go through, having to go through a trial because the guy wouldn't um, take his responsibility for what he had done, put them through a trial, have to relitigate all those things that they did, probably were cross-examined by the defence counsel, and then only to find he's getting home detention. Absolutely disgusting. From the point of view for one who shares a love and empathy for the victims involved, it has been an indescribable agony to witness their raw pain and emotional suffering. Not only did Jade and Maya's actions cause us girls to hurt, but our family and friends have also pulled through this journey, adversely affecting our relationships and causing much disharmony. Uncountable hours were spent trying to pick up the pieces of the shattered worlds we had to live in, but with the support system surrounding us, we were able to put ourselves together piece by piece and not be victimised by this cowardly act. I mean, I happy that these girls are starting to get over it but the amount of trauma that they had to go through is just unthinkable sexual offending can lead to mistrust insecurity and can cause numerous mental health issues many suicides have been the outcome of these suppressed feelings and lack of support systems seeking professional help places an enormous financial burden on both the family and the individual i mean surely the government can pay for the professional help for these people surely i mean come on the fucking effing throwing money all over the place this Labour government surely they can provide some help monetarily for these people to get support one must remember that us girls are in our prime years of education and this event has had a major impact on both the stability 
ability to attend and participate in school activities. Many have expressed that nine months isn't a suitable punishment against the 10 charges he's been convicted of. 10 charges! Considering in our view the lack of acknowledgement shown by both the offender and his family, justice doesn't feel as though it's been served in this case. This is a serious matter that many have overlooked through the stages of their lives. I feel that as a society we need to recognise this type of predatory offending and make a more affirmative stance along with our judicial system. The bravery of everyone affected by this case is undeniable. Many tears have been shared, shared through the, throughout this process and there were no easy moments. This has been a challenge like no other and has taught us a very, all a very valuable listen, lesson. Well, you girls should never have, have to be taught a valuable lesson, right? Doesn't matter if you're drunk or um, if you're out partying or whatever. Um, no means no, you should never have been taken advantage of. But to stand on the survival end and moving forward positively for our lives is an accomplishment in itself. As a result of the news currently breaking the media, take it as a sign to acknowledge those you love and always ensure they are feeling safe. So many have suffered from sexual offending, not all have the security to reach out, but always know you are not alone. Every individual contains the strength to obtain the justice they deserve. And these girls have not obtained their justice. There is no justice in nine months home detention for this monster, despicable human being, human trash. We should stick him in jail, throw away the key for two years. That's my feeling, or three years or four years, whatever it happens to be. We shouldn't have any concurrent sentences anymore. All sentences should be consecutive, right? So if you've got five charges, you get a year each, you do five years in total. Build more jails if that's what it takes. I have no, I don't care if people don't get rehabilitated in prison. At least if they're in prison, they can't harm anyone else. Um, so, and make it, I mean, make it compulsory that they have to do some sort of rehabilitation in prison because I think at the moment it's not compulsory or anything, right? Might not work, but it's worth trying. But just stick them in jail. At least they can't um, harm anyone else for the number of years that they're in jail. Look and think about how many lives will be saved because of that. Anyway, let me know what you think. I hopefully you agree with me. But if you don't agree, if you th feel that nine months home detention is an appropriate sentence, then let me know why in the comment section. I'd really love enough to know why. Because I just cannot see it being justice to these victims. Love to read your comments in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And hopefully I will catch you in the next video.